Hello, I am Demon, and I am here to give my thoughts on Season 2 of the Total Drama Island Reboot. Um, and I'm also going to be ranking the episodes, because why not? Um, I've also ranked the uh, all the episodes from the first season, so check that video out afterwards. Um, anyways, uh, just to give my overall thoughts on the season, it's disappointing. And this is also why I decided to do this a day after the final batch of episodes came out. Because if I did this yesterday, I would have been in a fairly meh mood. I don't think. I don't think people uh, want to watch that as much, right? Um, so yeah, I've decided to do it today instead. Uh, and yeah, obviously spoilers, huge spoilers. Like that's to be expected, though. Um, and yeah, just to uh, rank the episodes, starting with. The first episode, which I actually think started off really well. Um, for the first episode, it's definitely one of the better ones in the show. Really good. Um, the challenge was good. The elimination was alright. Um, none of the none of the first modes are ever that great, but this one was okay. Um, the dynamics were cool. Um, to see, although I did have a problem with a lot of stuff happening off screen, right? Like, you know, MK and Julia just friends all of a sudden. That's, I still have a problem with that. Um, you know, Michelle, you know, all of a sudden very athletic. Emma and Chase break off off screen. You know, wow, all that time in season one on those two. It's, you know, all that time spent on season one with Emma and Chase is wasted. Uh, like season two, it just ends in a bit of a dud, I guess. Uh, but yeah, overall, honestly, quite good. Don't have much to say, it's the first episode. Now, episode two is probably uh, my favorite episode of the season. I don't know, I thought Challenge was creative. Obviously, we have Ripper trying to win over Axel. I thought that stuff was great. Millie pushing Damien down the four point slide. I thought that was actually quite funny. A good Millie moment. Um, yeah, honestly, I don't know. Honestly, like, this season. Starts off quite strong. Oh. And then episode 3 comes along, and this is the beginning of the cheating plot, which, um, to give you an honest thoughts, it's just a big waste of time. It means nothing. It's just filler. It's like, MK and Julia cheat, and there's some, you know, Bowie sort of stuck in the middle, you know, and then obviously Wayne and Raj don't want to cheat, but ultimately it's just like... It, in episode 5, it's like completely for about 2 seconds, and then it ends. And it's pretty much never brought up again until, I guess I guess it's brought up to episode 6, but uh, not in a very good way. And I'll explain that later, because I'm talking about episode 3, right? Now, Ripper and Axel, banger. Still banger. Absolute banger. Um, Caleb is alright in this episode. This is Caleb in the first five episodes. This is just, he's basically just like, oh, I've got to have that last Priya five episodes straight. So, you know, that's, that doesn't get repetitive at all. But overall, this one was, uh, this one was good. Um, and Millie's Elimination was actually probably my favorite this season. Um, yeah, I guess I should mention Chase Elimination is kind of whatever, but, yeah. Uh, next we have episode four. This is a good one, obviously. Ripaxel. We got the Ripper Palm. That's I like that a lot. Um, challenge was okay. Emma's elimination was okay. Yeah, the episode of all though I think was actually good. There were some good moments. The cheating ones, you know, that was all right in this. Um, nothing, not, nothing exceptional, but it was good. And the same for episode five. Episode five was a uh, is good too. Not as good as episode four. Episode three was better than episode one. Uh, no, no, not quite. Um, episode five was pretty good still. Um, Ripper and Axel. This is sort of <laughs> a sign to come, right? Like they they make out a bunch at the beginning of the episode, and then it's not brought up again, which is good. You know, Ripper and Axel is still pretty good in this episode. Um, this is where the cheating plot ends, basically, and it amounts to nothing at all. Thanks, I guess. Whatever. Um, 
And of course, this is where we have uh, Michelle's elimination. Now, Michelle, I don't like Michelle. She's boring, really boring. Um, first season, didn't like her crying. Season two, I didn't like her saying fuck Hollywood over and over again. Like, yay. Um, but I also really dislike Michelle's elimination this season. It's, it's one of those eliminations where it just makes no sense. Like, let, let's actually, let's think this through for a second. So, Michelle finds this, like, paper on the bed, and, you know, it's like, no, you know, movie deal or whatever. And, and Michelle, you know, quits the game out of this, and then it's revealed that Julia actually made it up. Now, my question is, how the fuck did Julia get the paper? How did Julia write a convincing enough, like, new video pitch Michelle, where Michelle believes it. Especially the paper. Like, because literally in the beginning of the episode, like, Julie was like, I can't find paper. And that's how, like, that's why they ended up drawing the map on Ripper's belly or whatever, right? Like, they literally acknowledge there's no paper. And, and I did hear an argument where it was like, well, well, Julie used the paper on the on the fake contract, which is why she couldn't, you know, she didn't have any paper around. But that doesn't make sense because Julia only eliminates Michelle because of the uh, uh, like Michelle sort of like roasting Julia, which happens after Julia says she can't find paper. So it's clearly not that. So Julia just pulls that paper out of her fucking ass. <laughs> you know, kind of reminds me when Trump now pulls the chart out of nowhere. Like, yeah. Um, so not a not a good elimination at all, but the episode itself is good still. Um, but you know, elimination was poor in this. This trend kind of continues. Um, elimination themselves are not too bad, but the episodes themselves are not too bad. But the eliminations, oh my god, these eliminations are so shit. Like they all they all suck. I don't I don't like like any of these. Well, let's not get uh, too far ahead of myself. Um, episode 6, it's merge time. It's too soon. I'm going to say it's too soon. The the reveal of the, the of the, having the Mutiny Idol, that's cool. I like having Chris Mutiny Idol. Um, the charge was actually really good. And the episode itself is actually good. The Paxel, mm, disappointing, honestly, the way it turned out. Um, but we're better than It's better. Episode 5. Episode six's elimination is Bowie's, which is okay, I guess. It 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 could work. It, it kind of works, right? Like I get people targeting Bowie, or just in general people disliking Bowie. I see the reason why Bowie would go home. If people generally don't like Bowie at this point. That makes sense. But they don't eliminate Bowie because he's unlikable. They eliminate Bowie because Julia somehow convinced them off screen, by the way. We don't get to see this, that Bowie cheated. Or like Bowie came up with a plan to cheat. Well, why do you believe Julia? I mean, first of all, MK, you know, has literally, Chris has literally said MK cheated. And also, in the very last episode, Julia's literally revealed to the whole of the bloody team, whatever, the other team, Hey, I made the fake contract. Ha ha, isn't that funny, right? Like, people are, should clearly be aware that Julia is crafty. So the fact that they believe Julia, that Bowie cheated, I don't think makes sense. It makes sense for Bowie to go home, but it's for the wrong reason. <laughs> it's the wrong reason. It's, it's like, you had the reason, and you use a reason that didn't make sense, and off screen, other than one confessional, where Julia says, I convinced people, like, really, like, come on, this is, this is, this reminds me of Cave's Nation in the first season, but at least with that, it's the excuse of, it's the first episode, and they have to introduce the cuts, like, yeah, the elimination's gonna be rushed, right, I, I, I can excuse it a little bit there, but here, it's just, it's episode six, Season 2, you had plenty of time to explain the elimination, but instead, you have to spend all the time on the challenge and on being with Caleb, 
And also, for the record, this is where Caleb finally does something interesting. Caleb finally feels a prayer. It's like, finally, you know. <laughs> that was my, that was my, that was what I was thinking when I saw it the first time. And, uh, yeah. Um, good episode overall, but, you know, it's better than episode five. Mostly because the elimination is not as bad. It's okay. Um, the challenge is also quite good. And then episode seven comes along, and this one was. Mm, this one's okay. Uh, it's okay. It's good, but it's definitely at the bottom of good. I think for Paxel, it's. I don't know what they were trying to do. Like what they were. It feels like they were trying to make them as gross and unlikable as possible, which it just feels weird. Like is it meant to be funny? I mean, I guess it was a little bit funny, but it doesn't even feel like. They were trying to make it funny, it feels like they were trying to make it gross. I don't get it. Why did they do it like that? I was, I was, I'll tell you right now, I was way more invested than Rapax than I ever was. With fucking Bria and Caleb, I'll tell you that right now. But whatever. Um, Owen cameo, that's pretty cool, although if Owen is like a food a monster in this episode, I don't know. Why he acts a little strange, um, but overall, honestly, oh, it's cool. Um, the challenge was cool too, actually. I I, I like the challenge. That uh, was cool. Um, elimination, though. I mean, Axe. I mean, you know, oh my, elimination was pretty bad. Axel gets floated off because of they're gross, I guess. Even though you know, this is a chance to break Kriya off. I mean, Kriya won the last season. Um, and you know, Kriya and Caleb. Are, you know, a thing, or starting to become a thing at this point, you know, people are aware of this, right? Like, right? Like, I'm not crazy here. Like, it would have made more sense to be a off. Uh, but now, you know, got to get rid of Axel instead. And uh, the reasoning is, like, uh, to eliminate Axel over Ripper is, like, Axel's more, like, athletic, which is fair, which, you know, I guess makes sense, but if we're going by the athletic logic, then I mean, Rhea is more athletic than Axel, probably, um, and also, Axel's elimination is not the bad one, Ripper's is the bad one, he just quits, k kinda, he, he, like, Axel gets eliminated, and then Ripper just jumps onto her on the Drone of Despair, and, he, and Chris just like, I guess it's a double elimination, it's like, it's an elimination that's so bad, um, that I literally saw comments where people were like, I don't even know Rip got eliminated until I didn't see him the next episode. I'm like, that's a bad elimination. If people didn't even realize he got eliminated because it's literally like 10 seconds and Rip was gone. Like, what, what, why are they just, they rushed him to shit. And it even feels weird for, like, it feels weird for Ripper. Like, man, this isn't, this isn't my alpha Ripper. This is, Beta Ripper, like, I mean, I still like Ripper, but, what a disappointing end, um, anyways, uh, next we have episode 8, this one was okay, I mean, you got, you know, Z spilling the secrets, that was kind of funny, but then that's the excuse to get rid of him, like, really, that's stupid, like, if we're gonna go by the logic of the last episode, eliminating the most powerful contestant, or, you know, maybe even just eliminating the most hated contestant at that point. Caleb? Why didn't Caleb go home at this point, right? Caleb was really the bigger physical threat. He's clearly in a bad position right now, because Priya hates him after, you know, Z's spill the secrets. Right? Like, it's not Z's fault that Caleb wanted to use Priya for an alliance, and that's it, right? And also, you know, Priya falling on Caleb and all that shit, right? Like, Z, and, and Z was actually pretty good this season. Probably not as good as the first season, but honestly, like, Z was good still. Um, you know, his plot was that, you know, he had a little plot here, which, yeah, I liked it, I liked it for was. But it was, I don't like that it was the excuse for him to go home, like, they couldn't think of anything else better to do, so they, you know, it's like, mm, yeah, it's, right, pretty bad. Challenge is kind of just okay, Dwayne's gone for half the episode. Um, you know, Freer and Kale, but it's, it's okay, you know, they are good here. Uh, Julia trying to get the secret from Z was pretty good, actually. I don't know, something like this episode just 
wasn't as good. And also, I don't really... I guess one thing about this elimination too, it's the same the sort of elimination as Scary, the Scary Girls elimination, right? Where they say too much, and then they're gone. Like, they just repeated the same elimination for a different character in the same season. <laughs> what? They just they just gave up on... I feel like they gave up on season. Um, anyways, episode 9, which is... This is where the new batch of episodes come in. Uh, boy, this is the... Mm, it's okay. It's okay. This is pretty... I don't like Korea anymore. Um, not in these last five. Korea is angered. Don't, I don't find it funny. It's just painful. It's quite painful to watch. Um... Uh, this is where MK and Julia... Do the whole MK and Julia thing sort of ends. MK and Julia was fine. I did, I did like it. Um, I know some people loved it. I just liked it. It wasn't. It's not my favorite thing ever, but you know, it's not bad. Uh, but you know, uh, MK gets eliminated this episode after Caleb wins immunity. Uh, I do like Caleb in this episode. I'm gonna say I do like Caleb in this episode. Uh, and Damien was cool too. But uh, yeah, uh, MK's elimination was just okay. I get it wasn't that good. Like. It kind of made sense, like, Priya, but not Priya, not Priya. Um, they were obviously like Wayne, Raj, and Priya, and Damon all gonna vote either Julia or MK. And Julia just is honest and is just like, me and MK didn't, aren't gonna talk shit with each other. And then MK also starts talking shit, and that's kind of that. I guess the idea is like, they vote MK because she's more distrustworthy. But this is also Julie we're talking about. Like, uh, again, there's this problem where they just keep believing Julia again and again. And so, like, this is a great time to get rid of Julia. Clearly the bigger threat. But they just don't do it for some reason. And, like, it's, it's not great. Um... Yeah, so that's not good. Um, still not as bad as MK's elimination in the in the first season. I still hate that elimination. That elimination still sucks so hard. Um, but anyways, that's not, we're not talking about last season. We're talking about this season. And next we're going to talk about episode 10. Oh my god, this episode is the worst of the season. I have quite a bit. It this one was real bad. <laughs> like, oh my god. Um, the challenge was like challenge was not that interesting. It was just memorized things. Ray, Raj and Wayne. Okay, I'm gonna talk about Raj and Wayne. I swear they were not this dumb in season one. Like Raj and Wayne still have the funny moments of season, but I honestly prefer both of them in season one. Um, like, Rage and Wayne, Rage, S excuse me, Raj and Wayne, I just dumbed down this season, Raj and Wayne are just dumbed down in this season to the point where, like, half the time they're funny and half the time they actually annoyed me, which is not good, right, like, I ne they never annoyed me in the first season. So it's it's weird that I'm now I'm getting annoyed at them in this season, and it's it wasn't at the beginning. In the beginning, it was fine because you know there's all these other characters. But when you get towards the end, and it's just all this, you know, there's a lot more Wayne and Raj, and it's just like I just it's just meh. Um, obviously, this is where the whole Freya and Kayla they start like ah uh, Freya and Kayla, my God. Um, anyways, Julia somehow, again, convinces, you know, Caleb and Karita sort of, like, stay apart from each other for a little while, works for a little while. There was even a confession where Priya's like, even though Julia's manipulative, I'm gonna trust her on this one. It's like, what are you fucking... I... Why is everyone so dumb when Julia's around? Like, you know, you know, <laughs> what other villain has this problem? 
Now, how's this broken? If I have to compare anything, if I have to compare Julie to Mal, that probably says something about Julie. Like, no. I, and I'll be honest, I don't like Julia that much. I'm sorry. I know people love Julia. I'm gonna be honest, Julia kind of sucks for me. Too much attention. She takes up too much screen time. Uh, like Priya, but Priya is what? Priya takes up way too goddamn. Uh, uh, I'll talk about Julia later, because, you know, she's pretty important this season. Um, but honestly, this, this episode was, um, bad. And, um, I guess it's time to talk about the elimination of this episode, because that's, that's where it really seals the deal. So first of all, Julia wins the challenge through the fucking dumbest way possible. Like, literally, Priya accidentally makes her win. Like, so fucking dumb. That's some, that's some thick-ass plot armor right there. Like, oh my god, that was so annoying. Just being like, really? That's how they're gonna make Julia win? So fucking dumb. And then we have Damien's elimination, which, just for the record, I predicted in this episode. Um, I didn't predict it. I, you know, I didn't predict it before the episode, but as I was watching the episode, I'm like, damn, it's gone. Uh, specifically, the moment when Damien, like, pushes Julia onto the ground, that was when I'm like, damn, it's gone. I just know damien has gone, right? Like, I didn't exactly know how Damien was gonna go, but I knew he was going in episode 10. I already knew his idol was getting stopped. Like, that shit was obvious the moment he found the idol. Like, come on. Seriously, if you didn't predict that, I must be a little... Uh, I'm, I'm just saying, right? Like, it was really obvious. Um, but the way they did this elimination was just so, like... <laughs> so bad, like... So... Okay, first of all, Julie wins immunity because Priya made her win by accident, which is dumb. Then Julia off-screen tells Caleb to vote with her for the rest of the season on the exchange. Julia will protect Caleb if Caleb accepts, but this all happens off-screen, so we don't even get to see this, right? You know, this could have been actually a pretty interesting scene, but we don't see it. Um, and then Wayne and Raj vote for Damien because Priya and Caleb got back together and they didn't want to split them apart too soon, which I just thought was stupid as logic just keep Priya in the game like I just thought that, that they really did that just to keep Priya in the game like really like that's stupid and then of course Damien's voted off without the idol of course it got stolen and wow I'm so surprised um I, I just sat down and was like this elimination sucks I still think the shells makes less sense but Damien's was the one where I'm just like wow this elimination fucking I was literally like once this episode was done I was like, wow, that fucking sucked. Um, not the worst episode of the show, there's still, there's still worse, I think. Um, but, you know, it's, it's pretty, for me, it's like right down there, like, Sunday, muddy Sunday, like, oh, it's, 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 it's close, it's close, it's not, it's not quite as bad, but my god, this, this is painful. Um, anyways, episode 11, it was just bad, it wasn't, you know, it was better. Um, Carthur cameo was cool, but at this point, right, the problem I have, I just don't really care when, at this point, like, I don't want Kale to win, because Priya won last season, so, you know, obviously I don't want Priya to win, like, that would be really bad. Um, Julia, she's the villain, like, you know, like, there's no way she's gonna win, um, and even if she did win, I wouldn't have liked it, because too much plot armor, like, I don't, I wouldn't, I, it would have felt, um, it wouldn't have felt reserved. In my eyes, I know I know a lot of people did want Julie to win, but I I I know I, I knew Julie was going like third or second, um, pretty much since the start of the season. Like it was pretty clear where, where it was going. Um, yeah, and then and then Wayne and Raj, and I guess at this point, like at the final five, I would have picked Raj to win, I guess. But Wayne and Raj just haven't done anything this season. But it, it could work as a finalist. But they just don't do anything this season, and we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there when we talk about Wayne winning the season. But I don't feel like it's deserved because they just did nothing. And like, yeah, Wayne's likable, but 
that's not enough for me, right? I want Wayne to do something, have some conflict with the villain of the season, some conflict in general, or at the very least, just flying under the radar in a, in a, in a cool way, but he just, it's just dumb. And it also doesn't help that Wayne is, like, dumbed down so much in these last few episodes, where it's just, I don't, I don't know what happened, like, I did that fall off the cliff really give him that much brain damage? I don't get it. Um, anyways, let's actually talk about episode 11. Challenge was alright, um, the calf cameo was cool as hell. I liked that. Um, pre and Caleb, um, we'll say, I, I, I will say, in these last few episodes, I did like Caleb. I did like him, so it was interesting. Three I did not like, Julia didn't like really that much, and Wayne and Raj were just there. They existed. Really the problem at this point is just a final five I don't particularly care about. Like, none of the winners were that interesting to me anymore. Even if Damien won, by the way, because that would be my pick to win. They'd sort of, it would have been a bit late to give him development. Like, even if he did win, it wouldn't have been a great ending. It would have been good. I would have liked it, but it, was still, it still wouldn't have been, like, one of the great endings. It would have been fine. You know, it would have been all right. But Final Five, you know, so, like, Wayne being a finalist, being a winner, is a good idea in, in, in theory, but the execution is not good enough for me. So I just... And by episode 11, it's just like, I don't really care who wins anymore. Well, I do care, but, but I don't really care about Final Five. It's just nothing I particularly like or love or really rooting for. I'm like, like in season one of the reboot, I'm like, I want Chloe to win. I was really rooting for Chloe. I didn't mind pre winning. I didn't really want Millie or Julia. And Emma could be like, an okay, an okay winner, but I didn't really want Emma to win. I just wanted Bowie or Julia to win. Um, pretty much got what I want there. Um, except I wish Bowie got. Um, but yeah, this final five, I don't know, it was just meh. Um, it's also worth noting that this season was actually really funny. At the start, anyway, this season starts off really funny, but I swear by episode nine, I swear it's not funny anymore, and I know Z wasn't carrying that much, you know, like, I know once Z's gone, it's not gonna be as funny, but... It got, like, so much less funny, like, I was, was Rebecca really that funny to me? Was, was Z that funny? Like, I guess they were, because these last few episodes are just not funny. Like, there's a few good moments. Um, I do, I do, I don't know which episode it is now, but there is the, the bit where Caleb's standing behind the tree. I thought that was funny, and of course, in episode 12, which we'll just get to now, it's, uh, it's, it's bad. Um, it's, oh, it's better, I guess. Um, but, like, the bit when Wayne, with Wayne, like, re like, you know, remembering, like, Raj and everything, that was a good scene. Not the sad, like, the sad montage. Um, episode elimination, episode 11's elimination with Raj was just, whatever, right? Like, it, it kind of made sense, I guess. Really, they just kept Bria in for even longer, because everyone wanted Priya to make it to the Final Four again. Right? Right? Uh, anyways, episode 12. That challenge is alright. Wayne was actually decent in this episode. He was just a nice guy in this episode. Oh, I kind of like that, actually. Um, the elimination. The is finally gone. Yay! But I wasn't even... I, the problem was I wasn't even satisfied at this point. I'm like, you know, I, you know, most people have been wanting Pre to go all season, including me. But by episode 12, like... At the start of the episode, I knew exactly what was going to happen. Julia was going to eye up it. I, I knew that pretty much before I even started watching episode 12. Like, I knew that's what they were going to do. Um, and for, I thought at first, when they were in, in, during the elimination summary, I thought they were being ironic with, uh, with, it, with it a bit. Because, like, it's so obvious that I thought, and, like, they're saying stuff like, Julia's definitely going home. So I thought they'd be, they were being ironic. But, like, watching it more, I'm, I'm like, I genuinely think they were actually trying to create this crazy big twist, and it's, like, the most obvious part of the whole season, and I'm like, whoa, Priya got idled out, whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> no, it's not. 
it, it sucks. It's also, how did Juliet even find it? Like, yeah, she got the note out, but how could she know that Damien has the idol? And even if she does figure out Damien has the idol, it's not like she, she knows that Damien hit it. Like, even if we did, even if she did know, if she didn't get to see it, it's off screen. And, like, I get why that's off screen for the suspense of pre elimination, right? You know, because it was really suspenseful. Um, but, like, it just, it just doesn't work. And, you no, know, pre elimination wasn't satisfying to me. It, it's just, it's too late at this point, right? Like, I know I'm going to see Priya in the next episode, right? Like, <laughs> what's the point? Like, I'm not, like, her face looks funny. Her facial expressions look funny. Um, but, like, it's too late, so I wasn't even satisfied with that. Um, anyways, the finale. Oh boy, what a journey it's been. Uh, this last episode's actually good, though. Definitely the, the best out of the final five episodes. Um... Yeah, probably right here, actually. Um, it's actually qu quite a good episode. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um... Wayne winning again. It's fine. Not that it's not that good of a win. I prefer a lot of other women, but I can see what they were trying to do with Wayne at least. Um, and out of the final three, I did want Wayne to win the most. So you know, I, I guess you know, yay. Um, I wasn't wasn't really going to be that happy regardless. But you know, I guess it could have been worse. Um, the challenge was good. I liked all the dynamics. You know, all the people the contestants returning and stuff. It was actually, honestly, it was just a good time, right? Like, it was a good time for the whole episode. Um, everyone had their, everyone had their little moment to shine, I think. So I, I, actually, I actually think it was a good way to, to finish the season off, you know. Um, a lot of seasons kind of end with a dud, um, and this one doesn't, actually. I think this one actually ends pretty good. Um, so overall, uh, yeah, that's it. Hot season is, you know, good to to really good, and uh, the other half is kind of meh or even, you know, bad. These are these are bad. Um, when I compare it to other seasons, uh, it's probably seventh at the moment. So ninth would be All Stars, eighth would be Park Tail Island, and then this is seventh. So it's not the worst season ever. I don't hate it. I mean, I don't even hate All Stars, I guess. But you know, it's it's far from the best season. The, f the first season was better, in my opinion. Um, and I just want to say, like, I actually do want to like the season. Like, I you know, I would would it wouldn't be great if I really liked this and the last season because I know people have really enjoyed these new seasons. You know, some people have, anyways. I wish I could have enjoyed it as much as some other people. I didn't, right? Which is unfortunate. I, I thought, I thought, you know, these seasons were just kind of. The first one, was, the first one was pretty good, but this one really is just quite kind of mediocre. Really, it's right on the same tier as Park to Island. Like, like it's it's not great. Um, this one has some better episodes than Park to Island, but then you know, I would probably say like. This episode 10 is worse than any episode in Pakistan Island. Um, and these two are like, they're not good either. And I like, I, I enjoy pretty much all the Pakistan episodes to these three. Um, which means I feel like the next time I watch season two, I'm probably just gonna skip these. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna skip episode 10 to 12, um, which is basically what I do in All Stars 2, which is kind of funny. Um, yeah. I wish I wish I wasn't wish I didn't have to be so negative. Um, I mean, I, mean, I hope you enjoyed it anyways, right? Like, you know, you don't get to see too much of me being negative. So there you go. And I mean, it's not like everything in the season was bad, right? Like, look, there's I'll put like eight of the episodes up, good or higher. Like, that's that's over half, right? Like, I, I mean, like, most of the episodes were good, right? Some were not as good, and some were really bad. Um. You know, but I think overall, it's just, you know, it was an alright season. Um, and as for a theoretical season three, um, I kind of hope we get to see a bit of a mix-up. I really don't, like, this cast is already quite drained. I don't, 
I'm not like if they do another season, it's gonna like, gonna it's gonna it's gonna be tough. But I hope I hope it is good. I hope if there is a season three, I hope it is good. Um, I really I really hope it is. Um, and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.